What is going on guys and welcome to Reykjavik in Iceland. Today we are going to be in conversation with Hura and we'll be sitting down with Sindri, one of the co-owners, having a chat with him and talking about the streetwear scene here and where it all started. So let's go inside, meet him and take a look around. Uh, my name is Sindri Jensen. I'm uh, 31 years old and uh, I'm the co-founder and owner of uh, Hura Reykjavik. This has two locations here on mm -hmm. Kraderskata and Reykjavik Iceland. Sure, and we're in the, the female version, right? Yeah, we're in the so women's store. So this one came after the, the original men's store, which is just on the same road, but just up the road? Yeah, just two minutes up the road. Um, we opened the men's store in 2014, mm -hmm. in September. And then it was always on like a three-year plan to have a women's store as well. Mm -hmm. But we had to move that up a, a bit since of, uh, there was a lot of interest from the from the female side. Okay. So this one here, the women's store, we opened uh, on the 18th of August last year, so it's one year old now. Mm -hmm. And well, when did the idea come to you to kind of, you know, start Hura? I mean, I've been working in, in fashion and retail for 13 years now, so it's, it's kind of my life's work so mm -hmm. far, along with playing football, mm -hmm. so I play semi-professionally as well. Oh, cool, okay. The idea came when I was around 20 years old, mm -hmm. just to have a store of my own in general, but, uh, I would have to say, I mean, I own it with my friend, Jon, mm -hmm. uh, which is an amazing guy. I've known him since I was six years old. Mm -hmm. um, and the idea came around Christmas time of 2013. I was working for a street, street machine in uh, Copenhagen as a store manager. And I just felt I was doing the same job mm -hmm. as I was doing in Iceland. I was being a store manager, a buyer, everything. Mm -hmm. And I felt like now was the time to do things for myself. I think you guys have done an amazing job, you know. Um, I think w one of the things that I really noticed coming in both the stores is that it, they're amazingly curated. Thank you. Um, and I think the selection of brands that you've got here, you know, I've been to Iceland a few times now and I haven't found anything like this. Um, so would you say that you're the first and only kind of brand that really offers this kind of like fashion outlet? Yeah, I mean, yeah, you, you kind of hit it right there because there's a lot of stores in Iceland, but there's, they're not really focused or curated mm -hmm. in a way that I like at least. They're trying to, because it's a small market, mm -hmm. but at the same time it's a pretty like, it's a, it's a really big market because people spend a lot of money and they sure. want to get nice things and they want to live well and all that. Are you, like some of the brands that you stock in here, would you be the only retailer that stock those brands across Iceland? Yeah, that's, that's like that for a lot of our brands. I mean, we're the only ones who stock Stone Island, we're the only ones who stock uh, North Projects, uh, we're the only ones who stock uh, Stussy. There, there wasn't a store that was focusing on sneakers as well. Mm -hmm. And that kind of, the idea was that sneakers would be the heart of our stores. The idea was to have a sneaker wall, mm -hmm. And it will always be evolving, get new sneakers mm. every week, every two weeks. And, and before Hura was around, I mean, nobody had ever camped out to mm. buy a pair of shoes in Iceland before. So they do that now? Yeah, they do that now. When so we have uh, NMDs or sure. Yeezys or, or even Air Max 97 sure. or, or whatever it is. Being a, a retailer that sells Yeezys mm -hmm. is kind of difficult in itself, right? Because yes. very selective on who they actually give the sneakers to, to kind of sell. True. So how, how did that work? Obviously a store in Iceland, like how yeah. did that relationship even come about? It was it, it was kind of tough because mm. there's, an, there's a distributor in Iceland to handle Adidas and so we had to go through them yeah. uh, and we had to convince them and then we had to write a letter to Adidas abroad and then they sent uh, a scout or a spy or whatever. Like a kind of like a secret shopper, yeah. right? So and you didn't know they were coming. Yeah, a shopper who came to our men's store, yeah. took a look around and then decided if we were worth it or not. Mm -hmm. And apparently they liked our store and our brand selection. Yeah. So That's yeah, we amazing, got yeah. on the easy list and the first drop we had was the Pirate Blacks. Uh -huh. And I think it was January 2016. Yeah, so the V1s, the, the yeah, first. The yeah, the yeah, V1s, yeah. 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 Uh, and there were people camping out in a snowstorm for three days. That is crazy. For 72 hours they were camping out. Did anyone pick that up? Did that go? Did that kind of go crazy on the internet? Because for yeah, me, that's, it was, that's it, nuts, It man. was insane. Yeah. It, like the Icelandic media ate it up. They loved yeah. it because, I mean, who would camp out for shoes? Yeah. I've traveled kind of quite a bit and I've seen a lot of different kind of stores around the world. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I think that you guys have, you know, definitely 
have a fresh take on mm. on kind of a, a streetwear or again whatever you want to call it you yeah. know kind of um, store at stores mm -hmm. for me it it's on a similar level you know kith yeah I would say that's the kind of level I would I was kind of put it on and, and that's one of my fa all-time favorite stores I yeah. think you know that again their creation and, and even like interior design is phenomenal I think you guys are you know definitely kind of up, like up there with those guys yeah, you know, I, for I, sure. I, I deeply appreciate mm. you saying that because uh, me and Jon, my partner, we've mm. put a lot of work into mm. designing the stores and we've yeah. done so ourselves and sourced all the materials like the marble from yeah, Italy, yeah, yeah. Uh, the wood is from uh, Denmark and the curtains are from Quadrat in Denmark. Yeah. But that's it, it goes, like, it goes further than the clothes yeah, yeah, yeah. and it goes further than the sneakers. And that's know, the thing, that's why we also like published a small magazine last year that was dedicated to women. Oh, because amazing. we were opening the women's store. Yeah. It was uh, interviews with only women and there yeah. was uh, art from only women. It, it is a culture thing mm -hmm. as well. It, it mm -hmm. is kind of, I wouldn't call it a movement, mm -hmm. but... It, yeah. No, I think, I, think yeah. you, I kind of think you can, I'm, you think I, yeah. you can say that. I'm not sure if, if Hura wouldn't have opened, mm -hmm. if we wouldn't have opened Hura, that we were so far, I think. Mm. I'm not sure anyone else would have done it. Yeah, no, definitely. It was not like an obvious move mm. three and a half years ago of course. to, to yeah, yeah. open a store with sneakers. Yeah, yeah, no, definitely. Yeah. I, 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 like I said, I think it's amazing what you and guys it, are and doing. And it's snowing here like four or five yeah, months Yeah, that's of crazy, year. yeah. <laughs> See, we were talking earlier about you guys opening this store. Mm -hmm. And I thought what was really interesting is you were saying that Obviously, you had the menswear store, yes. but then females were coming in, yeah. and they were just buying the men's clothes, even yeah. though, even though it didn't fit them. And in, in you no. were saying about sneakers, even yeah, though it didn't it fit was, them, because they just wanted to be a part of that kind of that culture. It was insane, and I, we felt kind of overwhelmed at, at times because there was girls coming in, mm -hmm. all these like really really cool girls, and they just bought like a pair of Air Max 95 mm -hmm. in a size 40, even yeah. though they were 38 themselves. Yeah. They just wanted to have the shoes. That's amazing. I love and, that. And yeah. no one else in Iceland had those shoes, yeah. and no one still has those shoes. Yeah. We're, the, we're the only ones sitting with it, kind mm -hmm. of, in a way, and, and servicing this market. Mm -hmm. We're always trying to raise the bar. Mm -hmm. We want to be at an international level. Of course, yeah, yeah. And I mean, yeah. being three years old now with a men's store and the women's one year old, mm -hmm. uh, we're going to try to grow our business online. Mm -hmm. And then, I mean, it's funny you mentioned Kith because mm -hmm. I really like Kith mm -hmm. as well, mm -hmm. and I see. Ronnie Fike is some sort of an um, inspiration. Sure, yeah. Uh, and I mean, we would love to have a Hooray NYC. That would be amazing. Yeah. yeah. Just go I'd out go there. there. Yeah. Um, and, you know, what's, what's kind of next for you guys? Is there, is there kind of anything that's coming out soon or you know, anything that you guys are working on? Or? Yeah, I mean, a little side project. Me and Jon, my partner, we're opening a pizza place. Oh yeah, awesome. Yeah, in like two weeks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, out so that's, here. So, that's so different. Yeah. And like, how did that come about? It's like a similar thing to what we've done with the clothing. I mean, their Neapolitan pizza, as you probably know it from Franco Manca mm -hmm. or something, it doesn't exist in Iceland. Yeah, that's yeah, true. You can't get it. Yeah, it's true. So we just like love those kind of pizzas and we have two partners with us, good fr childhood friends, who have been obsessing about Neapolitan pizza for like two, three years. Yeah. And we all decided just to come together and make the coolest and the best pizza place in Iceland. That sounds amazing. Yeah. When, when's it opening? In like two weeks. Two weeks? Okay, yeah. well, I'll have to come back. Yeah, yeah you definitely. have to come back. Yeah, but it's been, listen, it's been great talking to you, man. Yeah, you too, um, man. Yeah, thanks for letting us come in and, you know, taking the time to show us on the store. Yeah, my but pleasure. What would be, what would be great is that if we can maybe just have a little walk around and, and mm -hmm. check out some of the space. Yeah, of course. I would awesome. love to. I would love to. And the name Hura. I was I was sitting on the toilet. Yeah. In street machine. Yeah. And I was reading a magazine. Yeah. And it was like a golden page, and it just said Hooray. Yeah. Was, That's where like, all the best ideas come through, and man. I was just like, I got the name. Yeah. I called the owner and said, yeah. I got the name. It's Hura. So the one question I wanted to ask you: Is there any movements towards doing your own in-house brand? Yeah, for sure. I mean, we, we have a plan. Yeah. A long-term plan and involved it in that is our own brand. Yeah. And we really want to do it. Because I would love to see that. Yeah. yeah. So I mean, that's something we want to do, yeah. but we, we don't want to rush into anything. Yeah. I mean, I love the windows here. They're oh like, yeah. I think that's it at night. It yeah. looks incredible because you guys yeah. keep the lights on. Yeah, we always keep and, the lights and on. And you come past and it's like this glowing thing. You yeah, yeah, past, yeah. So like you just want to go in. That's, yeah. that's, a, that's always been the motto. I've taped like the the things you turn on the oh, light. Really? I taped them stuck, yeah, 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 so you yeah. can't turn off the lights. Yeah. I said like, the best advertisement you can get uh -huh. is the windows and the store sure. itself. Keep 
All right, so today has been amazing. It's been awesome sitting down with Sindri, chatting about Hura and where it all started from. If you guys are ever in Reykjavik, definitely make sure you come and check out the stores and I'll leave all the links to their stuff in the description below, Instagram, website, all that kind of good stuff. So if you have enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a like, comment down below when you want me to do the next In Conversation with and subscribe for more videos just like this. I'll see you soon for another video. Bye bye.